My name is Retribution. I'm your unsettled debt. My name is Vengeance. Someone sent me for you. My name is Corrado. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those that abide by the law, and those that don't. For those that abide by the law, you have collection agencies, courts, jails, and rules. For those that don't, you have me. When someone doesn't pay their bills in your world, they get a phone call. Hmm, maybe a letter. When you don't pay your bills in my world, I pay you a visit. If you've really upset someone, no one ever sees you again. People think that they can just call the cops and everything will be okay. This gives them the idea they can go back on agreements they've made. Their unfulfilled promises are the bounce checks of my world. They usually change their minds when I'm done with them. Of course, unless their mind is laying in a pool on the floor. Am I supposed to feel bad for these people? Because I do. They choose their fate when they choose to deal with those outside the law. They've got no one to blame but themselves. And once you step outside the law, you can never go back. In my world, I'm the hand of God. Chief, you gonna say hello? Yogurt rub, roasted chicken with red pepper sauce. Now that sounds good. Coffee black. Chef name. Oh, Charlie, what the fuck? Nice suit, Frankie. Way to keep the stereotype of Italians going on. What do you want? 30 grand. I'm listening. Clint Dizella. And? Clint Zella, the guy who decided he doesn't need Benelli anymore. What is this, Jeopardy, Frankie? I give you the answer, you give me the question. Can't really, can't really talk here, Charlie. I understand. You pay for dry cleaning for that grease, Frankie? Huh? Here's a deposit. It's 30 grand. Three times the normal rate. What does Mr. Zeller need? Fucking two of them. He owes Benelli big time and it won't pay up. Plus, it's been cozy enough to spin the hole. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Hey, doll. Give him a piece of pie, will you? Take care of the check, Frankie. Thank you. Ooh. It always feels good to you. Good. Why don't you go get undressed? Oh, come on, baby. Have a little foreplay. Oh, come on. Uh, Let's go get undressed.
la bella. Let's do work. Ooh, baby girl. Oh, that's dirty. Who the fuck are you? Hold on, hold on. Is that right to you? It sounds like shit. I know. I just got this, too. Oh, I'm the entertainment. Hold the mics up the block, fuck face. This is my time, so why don't you hit it, OK? Kim! What the fuck is this? Kim? Kim! Huh. I don't know. Maybe she's taking a shit. Nice question. When are you gonna have Benelli's money? Benelli, you mother Benelli's money, you cocksucker. Is that what this is about, huh? Yeah. Tell Benelli I don't have his fucking money. When I get it, he gets it. Okay? Now you can do me the favor by getting the fuck out of here. Cocksucker. Let's go look for you. Black socks, towel. All right, you know what? I'm gonna leave. Before I do, this is, by the way, this is Teresa. She wants to say hello to you. Where's the fucking money? You okay? Uh, mm. So anyway, whoa. Um, have Benelli's money by next week. Does that work for you? <coughs> or I come back with the whole band. Copy? Oh, Chalutes, what's what? Can I, uh... No. Where's the rest of the money for Zeller, Frankie? Right, you got this? Take it all to my mother. Your mom died five years ago. Good boy. Trust me. It's good. So, uh, thanks for meeting me uh, here, but what's up with this place? Because these guys, you keep a secret. Because you're so fucking nervous in public. Because I want to spend less than five minutes with you. Okay, okay, I get it. Four minutes, 30 seconds, Frankie. I got a big one for you this time. Why do you always do that? What? That fucking thing you do. You get done talking, you take this long pause, like there's a big dramatic moment coming up. Just fucking spit it out, please. Benelli? He wants you to uh, hit. Victoria Spinello. <laughs> You're fucking good to me. Hey, Lev, just listen to me, all right? This guy is like 85 years old, okay? He's bound to a wheelchair. It's gonna be easy. Spinello has armed guards around him 24 7. And guess what? They aren't in wheelchairs. 500 grand. Just think what you could do with 500,000 Scott Oles, Charlie. It's a lot of money. Maybe you're right. Really? No, not really. It's a fucking suicide mission, you asshole. Those guys will hunt me down and find me. That's why it's gotta be clean, Charlie. Real clean. He's 85 years old. They won't even suspect a thing. Do the old pillow thing. Make it look like a heart attack. First of all, Frankie, how the fuck am I gonna get in? And second of all, after I do the hit, how the fuck am I gonna get out? I got an easy way in and an easy way out. You do the quick skidansky. Oh, like a quick skidansky? Why don't you fucking do it then? 
That's what I thought. Give me a deposit. I get the fuck out of my face. Five minutes are up. Tommaso, this is this, 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 uh, mm -hmm. gal. How well have you checked her out? Hey, we checked her out. I wouldn't worry about it. Look, you gotta leave it alone. Your father's could be fine. He can't even take a shit by himself. I'm not leaving it alone. Why don't we get someone from the family? Because no one in this family has the medical knowledge. Fuck medical knowledge. Come on. Fuck it. Fuck medical knowledge. To handle the situation. We need a real nurse. Right, right. Medical knowledge is over. He's dying. Right. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just I'm tired. I've been away. Too long, Tomas. Now listen to me. I've worked for your father a long time. I would never do anything to hurt him or have him hurt, okay? okay? This is a real nurse. This is a qualified nurse. We checked her out a thousand times. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, though. I, seeing my father... In, I don't want to see my father in that condition. Well, no one does. Anyway, this fucking manja cake is... I just keep thinking, why not one of our own? It's too late now. Here comes the manja cake. Let the bitch in. <clears throat> Hello, Julia. Hello. Welcome. This is uh, Paolo. This is Vittorio's son. He just flew in from Las Vegas. Hello, Mr. Spinello. It's very nice to meet you. Sit down. Can I get you in? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. The reason I called this meeting is for me to introduce you to Paolo. He has some questions for you about his father. Sure. Huh. Oh, no, actually, I, I just wanted to meet you and ask you to take good care of my, my pop. Oh, of course, Mr. Spinello. He really does need to live in with his Parkinson's so advanced, and I'm going to take good care of him for you. Also, Mr. Waltieri, can I provide you with a list of equipment and supplies I'm going to need? I think we're going to need some more gear. How much gear? I'm going to need a monitor to check his vitals for my room, as well as a sling to bathe them, and a few other odds and ends. OK, just make a list, and I'll get it to you right away. OK. Mr. Spinello, have you any more questions for me? I wish I did, but I don't. Not yet. Nice to meet you. If nothing else, Jim, get back to my patient. OK. What do you think? I want to fuck her, but I'm not gonna. I have self-restraint. <laughs> She's for my father, buy him some Viagra. Fuck it, I don't care, whatever. Mr. Spinello. That was very good. Thank you. Now I want you to get your rest. Mm -hmm. I'm in the next room if you need anything. Because that horse was around her, he was a very happy horse. Ah, salute to Vittorio. <laughs> Fuck Vittorio. He calls me a baby now, he's getting a cocksucker alive. He's dead in me. Oh, oh, oh God. The Vittorio's my father. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, I'm drunk. You Let's got eat. Any, you got any blow? No. You hungry? Let's eat. Let's eat? Yeah. Really? All right. Yeah. 
Let's do something besides this. Oh, that fucking stupid. Oh, oh, fuck, I kicked over the ice. Fuck that. Oh, fuck it. Uh, hey! Josh! <laughs> You're in trouble. Bring me a couple of sandwiches. Yeah, sandwiches with fucking meat on them. And some cheese of variety. And a couple of people that aren't like me. Do you know what I mean? Do you like, you so wait, wait, wait. Do you like the nurse? <laughs> Which, who? Oh, that bitch? Yeah. I don't know yet. I ain't fucked her. The IV pump. Bitch, I knew you couldn't be trusted. What the fuck? No, a man. What? Oh, what? A man in black. He came in? He came in. Bullshit! No. I don't believe you. Bullshit. No, man. No. Damn it. No, I didn't let him Did in. Did you let him in? I didn't let him in. Look at me, goddammit. <laughs> Calm the fuck down and look at me. Hand me. You have to believe me. No, I don't believe a goddamn thing. Yeah. Mind me. I'll kill you, you fucking whore. Huh? <laughs> God, God is my witness, you're lying to me. I will fucking kill you. I'll die for this. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you thinking? Hey, Chachi's dead. He's in the next room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Fuck you. What am I doing? She killed Pop. <gasps> Follow, calm down. You don't know if she did anything. She either killed him or she let whoever killed him in, right? No, I didn't. Bullshit. You watch her. I'm gonna look around the house. You watch him. Gino, <laughs> watch him. Somebody did something not right. I'm gonna find out who it is. I'm gonna kill him. Mr. Walter, you have to believe me. A man, he went out the door over there. Son of a bitch. Fine. Oh, 
Ellie. What just happened back there? Shut the fuck up. You weren't in the plan, okay? Wasn't in the plan? Well, I'm in the plan now, aren't I? Listen, I'm gonna drop you off. They're gonna be looking for you. They'll be looking for me? Yeah, they're gonna be looking for you. And by the way, maybe think about that before you start working with Spinellos, huh? I just got that job as a referral from nursing school. They were wonderful to me the three days I was there. I'm, I'm sure they were. I'm sure they were. But, you know, when you see people walk around the place with guns and guards, maybe you think maybe this isn't a fucking real estate agent. Jesus Christ! Well, I didn't know! Well, I don't give a fuck if you know or not, okay? Here's what's gonna happen. I'm dropping you off. Shut your fucking mouth off. I'm fucking push you on the fucking pavement right now. Fuck! Purple Paris, right? Did you get the plate? I'm gonna get the fucking plate. It's pitch dark. Fucking Louie, you suck. What good are you to Paolo alive? Get the fuck out of here. This is bullshit. I just stepped in fucking dog shit. Why do we stop here? Where are we going? I don't know where you're going. You can't just leave me here. What the hell am I supposed to do? I don't know. Go home, run to mommy, do some shit. You're out of my fucking hair, all right? I don't have a home, mister. I'm not from here. I moved straight to the Spinellos. Maybe I should go to the police. <sighs> Maybe you should. And here's what you tell them. You tell him you're working for Spinello. And out of nowhere, this man comes in the room and puts two in his head. And you being a fucked up girl that you are, you decide to leave with him. They'll love that. Good luck to you. Son of a bitch. Yep. What am I gonna do? I don't know. You can't just leave me here. I have nowhere to go. It's all of my instincts. Get in. Keep your fucking mouth shut. Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I thinking? Okay. Was she in on it? No, you know what? We, we don't know yet. She, what? She was in the room. She was in on it? Was she in on it? She was in the room. Uh, who does he work for? You're shitting me. What'd you say? Uh, who does he work for? This motherfucker? Benelli! Benelli, you dumb motherfucker! Paolo. What? Calm down. We all try to. Well, we don't get it. Come on, I don't get it either. Benelli has always hated my father. Always! He could not let the man die in peace. With some dignity. She's in a fucking whore over here and her fat boyfriend and they killed him in his own goddamn bed. Tommy fell for him. He ain't out of me for the whore for the bullshit. Put that fucking whore into my goddamn house. I'm for the monster like I told her. Yes, but motherfucker. Motherfucker. What? Okay. Now don't tell me what to do. Right now, yeah. Maybe the first to extend my condolences. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks. Okay, you guys, um, listen up. Um, these are my guys. Yeah. This is Salvatore. He came in from Vegas to help us out with our problem. Gentlemen, who did the hit? It was Corrado Messina. 
I saw him with my own eyes. Yeah, he's a bad motherfucker. That's how you go. Hey, what are you guys talking about? What, what the fuck? What's your problem? You don't know him hard in Vegas, Paolo. But Messina is bad news. Huh? Yeah, he's been on this guy. Who's his handler? Usually Fat Frankie don't offer you. We gotta watch for Corrado. He's a real motherfucker. You know this guy. I've been looking for him. Why ain't you found him? They don't give me that confidence. What about the girl? What's her name? It's uh, Julia Teague. What do we know about Cut her? Cut number three, what? You know, we don't really know shit. I mean, she moved out here from Nebraska, you know? She's got no family here. She's got no residence. Nebraska? Yeah. Nebraska? Yeah. Is that the United States? <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. Is it a state? It is, it is. Is it a state? Yes, yeah, it's, it's like in the middle. <laughs> in the middle of what? <laughs> <laughs> he planted her in your own home. Yeah, no shit. This fucking Nebraskan whore in my house. Motherfucker. Listen to me. Now, you go find him. You bring him back to me, okay? To me. Alive. You know why? Because I'm gonna kill both. I'm gonna kill Miss Nebraska and her faggot Cornhusker boyfriend. Okay? Go find him. Who knows where to find Fat Frankie? I do. Let's start there. Hey, they'll be right with you, okay? Wait out there. Thanks. Hey, look. I don't think I'll risk that well, okay? You know, like, not something? Kill him. Do what you want. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he's dumb, but he's my dumb. Why are we driving back to L.A.? Aren't we supposed to be running away from them? Well, we are driving back to L.A. because I couldn't drop you off at the truck stop. That's why we are going back to L.A. Well, I'm still going to the police, I hope you know. Good for you. You got a name? Yeah. Well, I'm Julia. Julia Teague. Nice to meet you, Julia Teague. And you are? Call me Charlie. It's nice to meet you, Charlie. You know, I fucked that up. What? You shot the guy dead right in front of me. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't supposed to shoot him. Oh, I get it. So he'd be dead in the morning, and I'd take the rap. Nice. Really fucking nice. I didn't know you were gonna be there. Oh, gee, thanks. So what do I do now? Well, if I were you, I'd go stay with some relatives. They live in Nebraska. All right, so then if I were you, I'd go stay in Nebraska. Why? Because you'll be safe there. It's the fucking car. This is the, the one, Louis. Not here. It's open. Get out of here. Come on, let's go. Get out of here. Hey, Frank. Let's take a walk. Sounds a house that's safe. How clever. Safe house. I'm 
telling you the truth. The safe house. They'll be at the safe house. Frankie, why are you fucking lying? Oh, Frank. Hey, listen. If I was to pull this trigger right now, you probably wouldn't die. You want to know why? Because the angle I got this thing pointed at probably just blow off the lower portion of your jaw. Your nose, your tongue, all your fucking teeth. But you'd live. Oh, you definitely live. I'll give you the address, please. I'm telling you the truth. The Smith and Wesson 500's got a way of separating the truth from the lie. I got a wife, I got kids. Please don't do it. The please. velocity of this round's not too fast. It's about 1,650 feet per second, but it is traveling over 440 grams. I'll go with you. I'll go with you, please. If you're fucking lying. I will discharge this entire cylinder into non-critical parts of your body. You will die the slowest, most painful death possible. Do you understand me? Yeah. Keep begging. Let's move. Let's fucking kill him. Come on, just kill him. Come on. It's a lucky day, Frankie. Up. They're here. Get Frankie out of here. It's picked up. Take it for power officials. Got him. He's here. Get him in quietly. I don't want any commotion. Got it. Wow, this is a great place. Can't wait to order room service. Oh, you're gonna be ecstatic. They got coke on feet. They got everything. It's gonna be brilliant. Shut the fucking door. Moron. You know what, Julia? I think we're gonna switch rooms. Why? Well, because I want to treat you to the penthouse. And it's not occupied. You're sure it's empty? Yeah. Come on, baby. Watch the fucking door. Watch the door. Claudio, they leave? No one left. We can't even have him come out yet. What about the back door? Matu would have said something. They're probably still inside. Well, oh, they're not here. Hang on, I got another call. Yeah. Did you get him yet? I'm working on it. Are you sure? Right question. Positive. How the fuck do you know that? I know. Come on. What are you doing here? Well, that's not the question, my man. The question is, where the fuck is my money? Hey, fuck you. I told you I paid you already. And the last time? Last time? You ripped me off. Bullshit. I want fair and square, you piece of shit. Well, who, well, who now? Nah. Oh, who, 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 you a fucking owl? <laughs> <laughs> How come you don't come, huh? It's been fucking crazy. How you been? Good. You know this guy? No, no, we saw a random Asian big dudes. Where the fuck is he? Are you sure that was him? I answer that question, you join Frankie. Get on your feet. Yeah, but it's been like forever. He's gotta be hard to us. So where'd he go? Hmm? Where the fuck did he go? Is she a woman? No. I think I need a drink. There's a cooler back there. Help yourself. Look, I don't want to freak around. But you know, I got problems outside.
fuck it. Can't wait any longer. What are we gonna do? Rouse up everybody in the building if we have to. Mr. Messina is on the premises. You want I call Brooklyn? Yeah, call Brooklyn. But Carmelo, no explosions till I give the word. Check. <laughs> I saw maybe uh, two inside, maybe one or two outside. What do you need? I think you know what I need. Uh, I got the solution. Who is this guy? He's a friend of mine. He's gonna take care of us. Trust me, please stay here. Don't move. You'll be safe with me, I promise you, okay? Get up here. Get Massimo. Meet me in the hallway. Fuck me. It's the girl. She's outside. You wait here. Get the fuck out of here. Just send someone to get me. Sal, you're joking, right? Salvatore, tell me the fuck. You did what? I don't believe this. Go on, tell me, it's me. Oh, come on, you're bullshitting me. I can't fucking believe this. He took out all your guys and stole your fucking car. It's not like that. It's not quite like that? Well, what the fuck's it like? That's what you just told me. 
Huh? You steal your fucking wallet too? You drunk or asleep? Both? Fuck you. Fuck it. Detective Johnson. Hey, Officer Tony. Oh, hello, Mr. Spinello. Look, um, I got a problem um, uh, with this cunt from Nebraska. I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do for you? Well, I want you to find her and bring her back to me. Well, she's coming here? Well, I can't say for sure, but um, I got to cover all my bases on this one, you know? Uh, she may be headed back to Nebraska, and that's what I'd do if I was her, but um, you know, just do me a favor and put out the word, okay? And what's her name? Julia Teague, T-E-A. G U E from Nebraska. Julia Teague, Nebraska. Got it. Tony, don't let me down, okay? Yeah, of course not. I never have. No, you never have. Want eat? Go eat. Thank you. I don't know what came over me. Jimmy's dead. Why'd you come back? Because I'm a nurse, Charlie. I don't do death. What you do for a living isn't right. And you know what? You probably deserve to die for what you've done. But I'm not the judge of that. So I guess you get one more chance. That's a foreign concept to me. Another chance. To me, a chance means lucky. Well, maybe you should try it someday. He's out. Yeah. What's this? Here, what's this? It's a gun. I'll be a solid bitch, you're right. You got a firm grasp of the obvious there, asshole. You obviously don't know what the fuck you're doing. Because they were right there, they were so close, you couldn't. I can't fucking believe it. How could you fuck this up? It's not. Don't tell me, I want to know. I want to know the losers lament. I would have, I should have, I could have. Now we got to pull out all the stops on these two now! Frankie. Frankie's the piece of shit that ratted us out. The greasy motherfucker. That's a little harsh. Oh, that's a little harsh. Frankie's the only person who would have saved us once besides me. Not even my own fucking boss, man. That motherfucker ratted us out. He almost got us killed. He got fucking Jimmy killed. Maybe you should give him the benefit of the doubt. Fuck him. Fuck the benefit of the doubt. end are you gonna kill everybody that's wronged you I don't know maybe well that's not reality Charlie it's more reality well it doesn't have to be that's what I've been saying all along what do your friends think of this your family no friends I always watch the old man get dressed for work. A lot of kids' dads wore suits to work. But I always remember thinking, why was my pop always getting all dressed up to go out after dinner.
one night seems like Pop's business came to him. We were just saying bye to him as Fabrizio Gennaro pulled up with his crew. died that night. My mom, my pop, Come on. and me. While the other kids were trading baseball cards, I was planning my first hit. Mr. Benelli, who Pop used to work for, who I now work for, gave me the tools. Los Angeles, California. TWA. That's correct. I reason to believe he will be here. I want his photo out to the checkpoints immediately. What are you gonna tell him after he's apprehended? Who gives a shit? I'll tell him I fucked up and it wasn't the right guy. That's what we told him. Yeah. Let's risk you letting down the Spinellos. Sir, Mr. Janelle. This is the guy we're looking for. And the girl? She'll be with him. So, uh, there won't be any casualties here. Just bring him alive, get out of the way. He'll be handsomely rewarded. Thank you, sir. Let's go, guys. Hey, hi, Admiral Moore. 
Who do you do? Nothing. We're just some people here that we don't want to see right now. What's going on, Charlie? Shut the fuck up and follow me, please. Hey, baby. Let's get you a hat. Oh, the hat collection. That's looks perfect. Right to remain silent. If you give up that right. So you helped knock off old Spinello. Are you kidding? I'm just a nurse and nothing to do with it. Is that why you ran away with Corrado? Fuck you. Wait till Mr. Spinello gets a hold of you. Spinella gets a hold of you. I'm just sorry he didn't try to resist out there. I would have liked to send you to him in a body bag. I know how to pick my battles. What's that supposed to mean? Seems I'll get you both somewhere quiet, I'm gonna kill you. Shut the fuck up. Starting with you. Well, this doesn't exactly look like police headquarters. I said shut the fuck up. <sighs> so, boys, when do I get my phone call? Oh, yeah. We'll make it for you right now, asshole. It's me. Yeah, we got him. Good. Great. Hey, Tony. Yeah? Who's guarding you? Well, I am. Fuck! Well, me and Larry. Call for backup. Hello, Tony. 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 Boys, Charlie and Matthew. Shut the fuck up. Good morning, sunshine. How you feeling? You up and at him? Fuck you. <laughs> That's funny. You know, a few moments ago, I was feeling the same way. I had this whole role reversal thing. Where's Larry? Oh, Officer Larry? Yeah, he couldn't make it. What's your name? Tony. Well, Tony, how are you? Let me ask you a question. Where's Julia? Fuck! 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 
Oh, your teeth? Oh, come here, let me see, let me see. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Hey, guess what? Your teeth are the least of your worries. Where is she? Look, I don't know where they're taking her. Salvatore said he would send someone to pick you up. That's all I know. You sure? So give him a call. Now. Tony. Yeah, it's on the control. Is everything okay? It's all under control now. What do you mean it's under control? What's under control? Talk to me. Yeah, everything's fine. We just had a little, uh, a little altercation. He's knocked out now. I can expect Antonio in about 15 minutes. Bye-bye. Nice job, Officer Tony. It's good to know we have such fine people working for our police department. Now, where am I meeting Antonio? How do I know you won't kill me? You don't. You'll come around maintenance entrance 1F, driving a black Camry. Thank you so much, Officer Tony, for helping me out. I thought you said you wouldn't kill me. Okay. Call your superior. What? Call your superior. You're going to make a little confession. Tell me what you're really working for. You don't have to. That's what I thought. Hello? Lieutenant Stevens? Oh boy. What are you waiting for, Tony? Load the fucker in the back seat. Get over there. I got a better idea. Why don't you drive me to Julia? Nice work, you half a moron. I thought you said you had it under control. Drop your weapons on the ground. I ain't carrying. This is LAX, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, take it easy, man. I'm cool. Shut the fuck up. Get over there. Put them on the ground now. All your hardware. Oh, yeah, I see you were packing light today. Sorry. Sorry? Hmm? Open the trunk. Get in the fucking trunk. Oh, come on, man. I'm lost to focus. <laughs> Get in there. Look at me. Look at me. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna sit in the back seat. You make one left turn without using your turn signal, and they're gonna be mopping up your brains with the sponge. You got that? I'm good. Get in. Number one, you. Meet Corrado's friend, Frankie. You. Charlie! 
Oh, you're so right about you. You're a fucking rat. Oh, wow, Julia, you're right. The broad Jews aren't right about a goddamn thing. But you are right about that. He is a rat. And you know, you can't trust a rat. Not ever. Bye bye, bye. No, no. No! No what? Please! What, Julia? What do you think I should hire him, maybe? Employ him? Well, he's unavailable now. And he betrayed his last master. Who'd say he would betray me? He turned on me. I mean, like you. Like you. I never did anything to you. And you turned on me. Why did you turn on me, huh? I didn't do anything to you. You lied to me. You lied to me. No, I didn't. <laughs> and you're, she's still lying to me. What a bitch. <laughs> so you didn't like Corrado Messina? Went to my house and you didn't help me kill my brother? No? No. Liar! Conscious. Huh? Really? Good. I mean, no big deal. I want Corrado and her. When Corrado gets here, we'll kill them both together. I want that cunt awake when I kill her, okay? Do you really have to do that? What? 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 Oh, you're bullshitting me, right? What did you say to me, stop? Huh? You heard me. How dare you, motherfucker? How fucking dare you? You reprimanded me, you fucking prick. Whose side are you on anyway? I just think you should kill her quick and get it over with. Really? Why beat up a woman like that? Because I wanted right. to. None of your goddamn business. What'd you say to me? Is that right? Well, listen to me, motherfucker. I'm deciding what's right and what's wrong about this motherfucker. I decide what's right and wrong around this motherfucker. Do you understand me? Huh? You get it? You understand me? Yes or no question, motherfucker. Do you understand me? Your father had more class in his little finger than you have in your entire body. Is that so, huh? Hmm? Is that right? I served him faithfully for years. And I'll continue to serve you as I did him. But you never do that to me again. Are we clear? We are clear. Nothing else? Nothing else. Then I'll be on my way. Be on your way, quickly. I saw. <gasps> you like that? What do you think about that? Get the fuck out of here. stopping here because this is the place yes it is you just go through that door and we walk across the shipping area it's in the back i swear you better hope so yep get out Hey, Officer Tony, wake up. Shit. But I want some company. No, Get in. Please, please, I, I can't breathe. Oh, no, God, I can't breathe. Shut the fuck up. You're fucking dead now, Joe. Well, big boy, I don't think you're in the best position to be speaking to me like that now, are you? How about we go toe to toe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would work out in my favor. Plus, 
I'm not really into this killing thing anymore. You have no choice. <sighs> 99 chum. Hey, bitch. <laughs> wow, huh? <laughs> from me. Get the fuck away from me! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Gotta get your little helper back, huh? She had nothing to do with this. Huh? Nothing. <clears throat> oh, come on, no. You both didn't plan to kill my father? Come on. I don't give a fuck what you think, Julia. Get over here now. Oh, how sweet. Bonnie and Clyde. Get out of here. Go. You're a good dog, too, huh? Hey, what's going on, man? What you waiting for? You gonna kill me, too? No. 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 Wow, thanks. I mean, that's good for me, right? I don't want to die. Make it my life's mission. You can count on this. I'm gonna make it my life's mission to track you down with the dog that you are and cut your fucking throat. Okay, big shot. That's good. We all need goals. <laughs> did, did you? What, what, what was that? I said everybody needs goals. Let it go. That's cute. A good man. Cheers. Your number's up. What? Sir, you have a phone call. A phone call? Those were here. He didn't say. Phone's in the kitchen. Hmm. I'll be right back. Fuck the waiter, though. Phone, anybody? Is 
up to him. Come on. I got no beef with you. Maybe I got one with you, Corrado. What's that? Your boss is dead. Yours? Well, lucky. I don't have a boss anymore. Now, finished. That's nice. I think you can walk away. It's a normal job. You sold your soul just like I did. Yeah. I did. You see, we have choices. And maybe I can walk away from this. But I can't walk away from you. You and I got a debt to settle. We have a debt? You and I? Mm -hmm. What's that? You killed my father. Well, I've killed a lot of people. Who's your father? Fabrizio Gennaro. Bell? Yeah. I saw the hatred in your eyes. So you gun him down on the porch. My mother. My mother had to resort to all kinds of things after that. All kinds of things. Be Charlie. But I gotta avenge him. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Vengeance. Ha. <laughs> oh. Salvatore. We've been playing the hand of God. Taking lives. Me and you. We don't care for vengeance. That's where you're wrong, Charlie. I'm gonna have my vengeance. Okay, Salvatore. You can have your vengeance. It's not gonna bring your father back. It's not gonna bring mom back. 